In this video, I'll show you how to create a map of India and how do you find out the measures in two different places. Now, I've taken an example here. I want to find out the population of people based on the religion. What is the religion and how much is the percentage of population in that particular region? So if you see here, that's a map of India and based on the religion, that is Christian religion, I want to find out the population. So if you if you observe here, there are different colors on this place. And if you want to understand what the color says, it says nothing but sum of population of all the Christian religion itself. The highest, the red color, if you find out the red, most red color, it says the highest population. The blue color, it means the lowest population here. So from this place, from the map, if you can understand the highest population is in this region, that is 25.12 percent. And that is in the Kerala region itself, the Kerala state. So there are 29 states and seven union territories in India. So the highest population you can find out it's in the Kerala here and the lowest population if you find out the other parts of the country itself. How did I create this kind of map and how did I distribute the names and also the percentage? Let us see that one by one. So for that, what I've done is I have created a database, a dummy database with which I have the names of all the states, union territories and the population, you know, the religion wise. I'll show you the database which you can download below this video. I'll show you that. And this is the database. Yeah. So if you observe here, these are the names of the states and the regions, the union territories, if you observe this and based on the, you know, just a data which I've got from some other place that is Hindu religion, population, Muslim religion, population, Christian, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain and other religions. So what I'll do is I'll use the same database. The name of this file is religion wise population. I'll try to use this database into my tableau and I'll show you how to create this kind of map. Let's see that. So first of all, I'll just clear this sheet entirely because I want to create from scratch. I'll just clear this sheet entirely. I've already connected to that data source. So I'll first remove this data source from here. So I'll right click and I'll say as close. Okay. All right. So now this is the complete blank file right now. So how do I start it from the scratch? So first of all, I'll just click on this connect to data. Click on this Excel, any database you might have. So I'll select this Excel from here. And then if you see, there's a file named as religion wise population. And then I'll click on this open button here. And I have got this. There's only one file that is religion wise population. And that is being selected here. I'll just go to this Hindu population. The sheet names already have created. Now, if you observe whatever states and region you have got, it is in the form of a text. You see, there's an ABC that is a text here. I need to convert into a geographical, you know, data. That's a field itself. To convert the into other data type, I have to click on this ABC and then I have to select this option as geographical role and then I have to select as state and province. Now if you see that's a globe symbol, it has been converted into another dimension itself. So I have the states and I have the different, you know, the measures which are given here. And if you see the italic font measure names and some few things are given, those are auto generated fields by Tableau, which will be useful. So for more details about this auto generated fields, I have created a separate video. You can see that. Now what I have to do is first one, I have to just pick up this state and region. So I'll double click on this state and region and I'll get some kind of blank thing. The reason is if you see at the bottom, it says 36 unknown. Why 36? As I said, there are 29 states in India and seven union territories. So total becomes as 36 unknown places. So I have to do some modification here. So I'll just click on this place and I'll get, I'll get a dialog box here. In this dialog box, it says, do you want to edit the location, filter data or show data at default position? I'll say as I want to edit locations. So I'll get this kind of dialog box, which says edit location. I am trying to find out the population based on the country that is India and different religions. If you observe, it is trying to find out in the country that is United States, which is not correct. So therefore it's saying as 36 issues, there are 36 unknown places. If you see, I'm trying to use my data. It says it is unrecognized by Tableau. That is matching locations are not there. So what I have to do is I have to select from here, click on this place. I have to say not United States, but I have to select from India. So click on this place and you can just manually type instead of searching entirely. You can just manually type here like this and I'll select India from here. And if you observe now out of 36, now 34 are sold, only two are left. What are those two? If you observe that that is Dadar and Nagar Haveli, it is not able to recognize why let's see i'll just click here and if i type here as d a d and if you observe the difference between this the other and the the symbol is given as and and if you observe the the text is given as a and d and so i have to select this one and if you observe one issue has been left one has been solved here so now this was not the correct name but this is the correct name same way daman and Dew. if you observe there's an and symbol which is given i need to find out the solution for this either i can type it d a m a n like this 
I'll select this Daman and Dew. Otherwise, if it is not working, you can find out latitudes and longitudes. You can see the other video also for this. So now it is working fine. So there are no issues and I'll just click on OK part. So if you observe here, I'm getting a map of India, but with some dots here, that's nothing but symbols which are given. So now what I have to do is I want to find out the population. So for population based on the religion, I have to pick up this areas and I'll put into the colors part. Now let's say I'll pick up this Hindu religion and I'll put into the colors part itself. Now if you observe, I'm getting the colors at different places. What this color says on the right hand side, if you see the darker, the blue color, the highest the population. Now if you observe here, there's a population which is highest in this religion of Hindu caste. So and if I if I pray, keep my cursor here, it says the state name is Uttar Pradesh and that's a population. If I want to show you some lowest population, I have to keep my cursor at this place. So it is difficult for me to every now and then keep my cursor on that particular state and give you the answer. So what I can do is I can give some labels to that particular area. So how do I give the labels? I have to pick up this as Hindu and I have to pick up or I'll pick up this state and region and put into the text part. Now I can tell you in this Uttar Pradesh, there's the highest population. In this particular place, it is the lowest population you can see. So it is easy for me. Now the second thing is I want to also find out the population in numbers, in figures. So again, I have to give the labels like I have given the labels for state names and regions. I have to give the labels for Hindu and put in the labels part. Now I can say in Uttar Pradesh, the highest population is 13397, you know, 263. That's a population here. It is difficult for a person to read and understand the population. It's very difficult with the lengthy numbers. What I will do is I will try to calculate in the form of a percentage. So it's very easy then. So percentage, if you want to find out, you need to have quick table calculations. So I'll just click on this drop down that is sum of Hindu. So I'll click on this drop down, select as quick table calculation and I'll select as percentage of total. So the numbers which you can see, it will be converted into percentage and it will be compared based on the entire total. So I'll select this percentage of total. Now it is easy for me to understand. So I'll just select this presentation mode. Now you can see in Uttar Pradesh, the highest percentage is 16.18. In Maharashtra, if you find out that's uh, it is not visible. If you see there's a state, the name is not visible. So I can just expand this by clicking on this plus sign. And now I can say in Maharashtra it is 9.40, in Madhya Pradesh it is 6.64. So it is easy for me to understand, right? So I hope you understood how to create a map of India and based on the religions you can find out. Also one more thing, if you observe the color is a bit different. If I want to give some changing colors here, I just need to press escape first. And if you want to modify the colors, select this colors option, edit colors and you can click on this drop down. These are different colors which you can choose. I'll select as some other color. Let's say sunrise and sunset, click on apply. Now if you observe the color at the background has changed and it is easy for me to understand now. So I'll just click on this OK part and it is done, right? Let us see one more example within 30 to 40 seconds, you can create this kind of map. Now let's see, I'll use this option like how to create, how to find out the population of Muslim religion in different parts of the country. Now, so first thing is double click on state and religion. And second thing is you have to pick up this Muslim, put into the colors. Muslims you have to pick up and put into the labels and if you observe I'm getting it again I'll pick up state and religion and put into the labels I want to find out the percentage click on this drop down or sum of Muslims quick table calculations percentage of total it is done here I want to change the color so click on this color edit colors change the color from the drop down let's say I'll select as orange blue white apply okay and it's done I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.